Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video. This one is very cool. We're doing a drastic change. We're doing a, a transformation here. So the client walked in here, as you can see, with a head full of hair, and he wanted to transform that into something nice, uh, tight, and modern. So uh, what we're gonna do here is a mid skin fade with a hard part comb over. Yeah, let's get into it. First of all, this kind of uh, transformation is not really that difficult to do, as long as you do a few steps. The first step is to section the hair. To make my life easier, I wet the hair a little bit. I section the hair in a horseshoe shape, as you see me doing here, and I will leave the crown of the head last. Once I'm done with sectioning the hair, I am going to take my one and a half guard. Now usually I use my number two, but because he wants it to be very tight along the sides, I took a number one and a half guard, and I am simply just following the head shape and going straight up in the air. Now this is gonna give myself a foundation, and also it's, it looks like a haircut already, just by doing that. Once I knock down all that bulk hair, uh, I'm taking my magic clips and I'm doing clipper over comb. Now what I'm doing here is I am blending the transition hair to the side hair, but I'm not detailing yet. We're gonna start doing the fades. You know, I like to divide into three sections, the, the sides and back, transition, and the top. So we've already knocked down all that bulk. We are starting to work on our first section of the haircut, which is the fade. Uh, remember, we started out with the one and a half guard, so blending from zero to a one and a half is very easy. And so with my triple zeros, I set my first guy line at about an inch, three quarters of an inch above ear's height. I dip it very slightly at the occipital bone. Soon after that, I take my Slimline Pros to add another transition layer. I am not going up to the line that I made with the triple zeros, otherwise you're gonna, you're not gonna add another transition layer. So, yeah, common sense. And to add another transition layer, I use my five star shaver. Now, setting my second guy line, setting about half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch above that initial guideline. I'm following the, the guideline all even. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least you want it to make it even. And now, working on my bottom line. With my magic clips, I close the blade probably three quarters, of, uh, three quarters all the way. You can start closing it halfway, and if that doesn't knock down the line, then you can start closing the lever little by little. As you get used to your own clipper, you know exactly where the lever should be placed in order to knock down that line. Some hairs are different, some skin hair textures are different, so you might have to play with it depending on, on your client, but for the most part, on my clipper, I close my blade almost all the way, and I flake out that line. I take my number one guard and I open the lever. Now this is equivalent to a one and a half, but it is slightly shorter than the actual one and a half guard. So technically setting another guideline, but because it is so close to a one and a half guard, you can't see it. I start with one side, I work that one and a, well, that one guard with the blade open, and I will close the blade and knock down that bottom line that I just created. I will repeat that process on the back of the head and on the other side of the head. Now remember that if for some reason you can't knock down that line, you do have your half guard. I use my half guard and my one and a half guard as detailing guards. I just like using it that way. Very rarely do I use them to actually knock down any line. Um, for the most part, I knock down a very, very slight line as I am about to do here with a half guard. I have the lever maybe halfway open and I'm just detailing the, 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 the fade. So we're done with the fade. Everything's done with the sides and transition here. So what I'm gonna do is 
I am going to literally cut down the half with with the seniors just to make my life easier and the comb over will be towards his right side I'm gonna wet the hair I'm gonna comb it over to the right side because that's how he will be styling it and I am going to use a clipper over comb that is simply to just knock down the extra hair I have the comb at about uh, nine, maybe a hundred degree angle from that transition hair that I initially had set. I am just knocking down the bulk. I am not blending anything. I am not doing anything else other than just knocking down the bulk. I am going to use the scissor of a comb in order to blend that top to the bottom hair. Doing the uh, the top, we're going to use, or well, at least I'm going to use, scissor of a finger technique. Using that transition here that I already had set initially as my guide. I am working my way front to back and side to side, starting from his right side of the head. Now that the hair is laying over, I can simply just detail the blend on the side, cross-checking everything, making sure that everything is even and cut to the proper length. Quite honestly, this is a haircut. It's super simple. You know, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thinning shears and I am literally working on that, that transition between the transition hair and the top hair. The thinning shear is a perfect tool to smooth everything out. Adding some texture to the hair. And there it is. I mean, the haircut is completely done. Now I am just setting the hard part. I like to set the hard part with the trimmer first and then go ahead and go over with the straight razor. I'm not showing the straight razor work in this video, it's just convenience purposes. Voila, there it is guys. This is the haircut, as you see here. Uh, we're gonna be doing some styling for the client, doing a little blow drying, using a brush to Pretty much set the hair where I want it to be. I am adding a little bit of volume. Great. So now we're going to be using, uh, applying some uppercut easy hole pomade. This is a nice little pomade they have. Honestly, the only one that I like from them. It gives a very uh, natural look. And uh, there it is, guys. Like I said, this haircut is super, super easy to do. So uh, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video. And please subscribe. Uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Peace.